28 tornado deaths within the last two weeks. What you see here is the single most cost effective, inexpensive, yet effective, life saving tornado measure you can buy. It's a one time cost of $10. It's a software app called Radar Scope. You can download it on Android or iPhone or even uh, Windows 10, as you see here, or Macintosh. Uh, on Windows 10, it's actually $30, one time fee of $30. This will give you a level of situational awareness of tornadoes that is difficult to find anywhere else. And what makes this such an incredibly good deal is what you're seeing here normally would cost a subscription of hundreds of dollars a month, or at least it used to. This will give you a situational awareness, awareness edge that potentially would have saved the lives of people in Alabama and Georgia who died and can save your life this tornado season. Let me say that uh, I have zero conflict of interest. I make no money from this, even though I really would like to, but I make no money from this. I've used this product for about three years, so I've got some familiarity with it. This can save your life. And I will put some links in the uh, video description to the National Weather Service that will help you understand different types of radar and how to use them. But here we have an ongoing uh, tornado warning outside of Cannon Air Force Base. Let's look at this 5 up here tells us our current warning levels. New Mexico is our only warning right now for tornado. And you can see here in that little watch box. And let's zoom in and see what we can see a little bit better on this phone. Difficult to see where the tornado is. The real technique is to switch over to what's called super res velocity mode. And in here, we can see where there might be, looks like there's possibly a weak, uh, right there is a couplet. <laughs> there's a couple in there. Small tornado here, that may be ancillary to what might be a bigger one over here, but definitely right there is a very small return of a tornado. Now, what sets this software above and beyond other software is not only the super res resolution here. You can't get that on the free software out there. Here's what it looks like in the lower resolution version that's published out there. But the real thing that sets us apart is this comes with two data sources where you can get this data from. And in a tornado emergency, that is critical. Because what happens is the government radar websites, their servers, they slow down to nothing in a severe tornado outbreak because everybody on the planet hits up their free radar app, all the TV stations are pinging the government servers, and they often crash. This one has their own server. So as we said, we'll give you some links that help explain how to use the software. and. There's actually a whole bunch of stuff on here. Really helpful when you're traveling. You know, your phone goes off and warns you that there's a tornado somewhere and you're like, well, is it in front of me, behind me? Do I stop? What do I do? You know, that's happened to us several times when we're traveling. Uh, this will give you the capability to spot it. The cell phone app will actually show you your own location rel relative to the map. Uh, there's also some other types of radar on here, which are... Uh, extremely helpful in figuring out uh, where potential tornadoes are, in, uh, especially when there's squall lines. Uh, they're called the dual pol polarization uh, radars. There's a uh, differential reflectivity. You know, that can be used for finding uh, uh, strong updrafts, for spotting the particular cells that are gonna become very strong, that are growing. Uh, it's, it's called correlation coefficient. That shows you the difference between uh, things that are meteorological in nature and things that aren't. So tornado debris will be colored different color in here. Uh, bugs and insects and dust like that shows up too. Yeah, you have to be a little bit careful using this correctly because it takes some skill and art to use these particular ones. And then there's specific phase differential, which will tend to show you when there's a lot of air density. Uh, dense stuff in the air, hail, things like that. With the $10 per year package, 
uh, you get lightning data. And that's also critical if your kids play baseball or softball. You see real-time ground, uh, uh, sorry, cloud to ground lightning. Here it is on the uh, PC. What's well, nice about the PC in the Pro Mode, you can get four screens at once. Uh, super res reflectivity, the velocity, uh, red are the winds moving directly away from the radar beam, green are the winds moving directly towards the radar beam. So anything that's cutting perpendicular across the radar beam will show a low velocity. So only what's blowing directly towards or away from the radar. Uh, down here differential reflectivity, that helps you see whether there are any strong updrafts that can identify when a particular, particular part of a storm will strengthen. Uh, correlation coefficient here shows you what's meteorological and what's not meteorological. And another very useful feature here when driving, especially in winter weather, is, uh, let's see, super res reflectability. Precipitation depiction. This, let's see, okay, that. precipitation depiction. Where is that? Ah. This will let you see the difference between snow and ice in various places. So if you're in the middle of a winter storm and it's right around the freezing line and you're wondering if you're driving into ice or if you're driving into snow or what's coming at you, uh, rain will show up as greens and uh, ice will show up in pinks. But uh, none of that's currently going down in the, the tornado down there in uh, New Mexico. So a life-saving app. One, one time $10 fee for... Uh, uh, radar scope on your phone, $30 one time fee for radar scope on your computer. Uh, it comes with 10 licenses on Windows 10 for the computer. Uh, the nice thing is on the uh, is uh, the Pro where you get lightning data and the ability to have split screens and things like that. Uh, that is only $10 per year uh, for that data and that is the cheapest you will find lightning data anywhere. The next cheapest source of lightning data, I think, costs around $70 a month. Uh, that might be comparable to this from some places. A lot of places will charge you $100 to $400 uh, for lightning data. So lots and lots of useful information. And as I said, we'll have links to uh, National Weather, Weather Service uh, websites that will or videos that will explain to you how you can read these radars. But uh, for the most part, it's relatively simple and can save your life.